seems transition. And I was, I have one more thing to share. I had a client just two days ago. And the question I asked him, why do you hold on to control so tightly of this situation? Like you're so scared you're going to lose your life. So he was having some control things going. And he thought about that. And I just, I said, you know what? I said, think about it. You can control, control, control. It means controlling other people as well, especially if we're in a relationship with them. Want people to show up with us in a certain way. Oh my God, you know, show up in a relationship a certain way. Potential, people have potential, right? And be so tight and hold on that you're so rock solid and the slow death thing. Or you see that ledge over there. You might be scared shitless. You don't know what is over that ledge. But can it be worse than what you're feeling now? You can take the leap and trust. The personal story around that was watching in the past when I would go into states of control and catching it right away and be like, I know my purpose. I know what I'm here to do. I have the vision of where I'm going, what I'm doing day to day, the people I'm helping. And this control stuff is interfering. And so if I take the leap, I know source is there. I know I'm connected. I just know my wings are going to spread. And it feels freaking scary. It's like jumping out of a plane without a parachute. Yeah, yeah. If I stay where I'm at, forcing someone to communicate in a way, controlling the situation, it's going to stop me from doing this. And that's where my spirit's alive. So that was a bigger answer than you asked for. Yet, yeah, self-responsibility, following what makes you alive, and keeping the invitation open.